So why is it that we get knee pains? One of the most obvious one is yes, you've had an impact on the side or in the front and it's, it's a physical damage. But most of the knee pains that I come across in my yoga classes are the ones to do with a continuous dull pain on the upper part of the kneecap or the lower part of the kneecap. You know, things that are niggling, they're not necessarily debilitating, but it is a pain nonetheless. So when you have something like that, there are two areas that I personally f look at for myself. One is to make sure that there's a proper lubrication of the knee joint, which is quite complex. For that, I make sure that I've got things like glucosamine and, and high quality nutrition products of that type. The second one is to make sure that the kneecap tracks properly in its groove. But what does that mean? The kneecap is actually attached to a tendon above it. Those tendons are attached to the quadricep muscles, the thigh muscles, the fore muscles. It's when they tighten up, and a typical case would be a footballer who works, or anybody in the gym who works hard at building those muscles in the tops of the thighs. It's when those muscles get overworked or are strong, so strong that they don't, they actually don't help the tracking of the kneecap. And that's when the pain begins to come because there's loads of nerves, lots of blood vessels. So it's a combination of lack of lubrication, which is the glucosamine component, and the lack of flexibility in the quadricep muscles. So my suggestion would be is sort out those two areas. But in the physical side, I'll show you a posture that you can do to help stretch the quadricep muscles.